bought a 3D printer, resin printer. So I thought I would print a B2 Super Battle Droid. So I, I brought this file from um, cult3d.com. I'll put a link in the description below. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to get all the scaffold off it, clean it up a bit and put it together. And I'll be back. Okay, that's all the scaffold off. Um, so I'm going to put it together now. It's only four points of articulation, 112 scale. Um, before I put it together, I'm just going to cut this bit of arm off here and then twist it so it's aiming at, at so when it articulates it aims at the whoever it's shooting at sort of thing rather than just being flat like that because it's only four points of articulation you see okay so I'm going to quickly cut that off and then I'll get back to you okay it's all put together now and I um I cut the arm the lower arm off and glued it on the other way so now when he points he's shooting at you sort of thing so let's get it painted okay here it is painted I used a uh, gunmetal grey for the most part actually I covered, gave the whole lot of coat of gunmetal grey and then I gave it a distort, these bits of just a, a very light wash of black obviously a dot of red there and the head I don't know what this is, is it? Uh, I think it's just his, yeah, his head. I got a bit of blue and mixed it with the gunmetal to give it a metallic kind of look to it. Just to break, break up the different colours. Yeah, it's come out alright. And the file only cost me about £2.70 I think. Cult3D.com Okay, that's it guys. Laters. I just thought I'd do a comparison with the B1 Battle Droid just to show you the difference in like height and stuff. Uh, I looked on uh, Wikipedia and they say it's the same, they're supposed to be the same height. Six foot four I think it said. I always thought the, the B2 was a bit bigger but apparently not now. So um, yeah, I mean it's only about a quarter of an inch in difference less than my finger so I'm happy with that I always thought that, like it was bigger anyway so and I've, I've decided I'm going to print a load of them so I've got another I've got two more and one half done at the moment I'm going to think I'm going to do eight of them and make an army of them uh, one thing I did notice is the legs look a bit well actually the feet look slightly bowed in I don't know if I can show you on this one it's hardly noticeable it's very slight but I, what I've done I've got a, like a little bit of a matchstick and just stuck them on the front of the foot sort of like that just to kind of hold them out a bit and then I um, left it in the sun to dry That's, this is when before it was painted obviously I've done that and it kind of made it a bit better. Yeah, so that's it I think guys. See you later.